guys, welcome to my 20 minute yoga video today on de-stressing. Um, I think this time of year, although it's like holiday season, it can be really stressful. Um, doing extra work before you go on holiday, catching up on work when you get back from holiday, making sure you have everything that you need for your time away, etc. So I think it can be a pretty manic time of year. And obviously for a lot of you, the kids are off school as well. So that's something else, new childcare arrangements, etc., to sort out. So this is just a little 20 minute short video. If you can steal away a little bit of time for yourself, just to really ground down, find your breath and help yourself feel a little bit calmer and more in control afterwards. So we're gonna start the practice nice and easy, just with some pranayama breathing. You're just gonna sit on a block or um, cushions if you prefer. So you just pop your sit bones on the seat and you're just gonna do a nice easy cross leg position. From here, I want you to imagine that your chest is lifting up so you're sitting nice and tall. From here, pull the navel up into the spine now on your next inhale, raise your shoulders forward and up. And as you exhale, drive them back and all the way down again. We'll do a few more shoulder rolls because often with stress, we start to lift our shoulders up. So you're going to inhale forward and up. Exhale, round and down. Inhale forward and up. Exhale down. One more left. And with those shoulders nicely drawing down, you can just turn your palms facing up. And from here, you're gonna bring your thumb and your forefinger together and just gently press, maybe like 20% your maximum strength. And from here, just bring your mind to the sensation between the fingers, making sure that 20% doesn't become any less nor any stronger. From here, see if you can relax your jaw, relax your muscles on your face, and keep that chest lifted and the navel pulling up. Breathe into your ribs as much as you can. As you inhale, feeling your ribs widen. As you exhale, feeling, feeling them come back together again. If you can, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose too. And just try to slow your breath down. slowly opening your eyes. From here we inhale, raise the arms up, interlace the fingers and see if you can straighten the arms. As we do this, see if you can draw the ribs in and find that nice line through the body. And then inhale, return the hands. And as you exhale, take that left hand behind you and that right one comes across onto your left thigh. Take a deep breath in, lifting up a little bit more, keeping the waist tight as you exhale, pulling that left shoulder gently back. Look over that left shoulder and take a couple of breaths. And then inhale, facing the front, exhale, release. Inhale, raise the arms up. 
Again, turn the palms facing the up, straightening those elbows. And then inhale, return the hands. And exhale, take a twist round to the right side. One more breath there. And then inhale, looking straight ahead and release. Really nice. From here, take the legs to one side and come up onto all fours, taking the block out of your way. Splay the fingers, place the hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. From here, we inhale, lift the chest, look forward, but keep the belly pulling in nice and tight. From here, we exhale, round the back, curl under, chin the chest, look to the navel. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, curling under. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, curl under. Uh, from here, go halfway between the two. Keep the weight pulling evenly between both hands. Keep that back nice and straight and see if you can just circle that left knee around. Nice big circles with the knee, just warming through the hips. We're going to do some nice deep stretching there today. So just getting it ready. And then take that left foot back and pull it parallel to the back of your mat. From here, we press into the right hand, into the right fingertips, and if it feels okay, maybe that right hand can go onto your hip, or it can reach up. From here, engage through your bottom, squeeze your bottom, pull your belly button into your back. If it feels okay, maybe you can look up to that top hand. Keep pushing down into the floor nice and strong with that right hand. And take a few breaths there. Really nice stretch. That left hand comes down towards the floor and sets up just over the top of the ear. Reaching up for the nice side stretch through the body. Press into the outside edge of that left foot. One more breath there. And then as you exhale, slowly bring that left knee down. And that hand, this time, you're going to thread the needle. That left hand, back of the hand to the floor, comes through. And we try and get that left shoulder as much to the center line as possible. From here, we start to look over the right shoulder. And I gently press into that right hand. See if I can rotate that right shoulder back a little bit further. Nice deep breaths there. It's a little bit tricky in this twist. One more breath. And then gently press into that right hand to come back onto all fours again. Super nice. From here, finding that midway between the um, your cat cow stretches again. So finding that halfway point here. And then from here, we start circling the right knee round. I'm going to turn this way so I don't end up with my back to you. So we just circle round. And you can always film yourself just to make sure that your back doesn't start to do this or it doesn't, you're not in this position either. So you're trying to find that halfway point. My physio tells me that I need to work more at this as well. Super nice. So from here, we send that right leg back, parallel to the back of the mat, and I roll the ankle out so the outside edge of the right foot can press down into the floor. From here, I press into my fingertips, particularly my little finger here, and I bring the hand to the hip. And see, you there, you can lift the chest so that the chest is facing the side of the room. From here, you're going to inhale, raise the arms up. Now, if this feels a bit funky on your hips or it feels really wobbly, it could be that you're not engaging your bottom. So press your hips forward slightly and squeeze your bottom. It could be that your hips are a little bit tight, in which case that left shin can turn a bit more away. So here it's parallel to the mat. 
here is kind of facing slightly more behind you and that's going to be easier to balance so just work where it feels good for you if it feels okay maybe we can look to that top thumb if it feels super wobbly i would advise looking down but make sure you turn the head nice and slowly one more breath there and then that right hand's going to come down towards the mat and lift up above the head and feel the shoulder blade still drawing down maintaining that space between your ears and your shoulders one more breath and then we can slowly bring that right hand and right knee back to where it came from and again that right hand slides back with the hand to the floor and put that right shoulder as close to the center line as possible gently pressing that left hand trying to rotate that left shoulder back deep breaths there keep the belly button pulling in supporting the spine in this movement Gently press into that left hand and slowly come back up. Now from here we're going to do a really nice shoulder opener. So we bring the hands forward and our dasana and we drop the chest down towards the floor. Maybe top of the head arrives, maybe the forehead, maybe the chin, maybe the chest. Go over. Wherever you are, I want you to stay there. Gently press your hand down into the floor and pull your ribs slightly away from the floor. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, relax the chest down towards the floor. Really opening through that heart center. Keep the belly engaged and pulling up. Maybe you can squeeze your pelvic floor in this position. And then slowly come back. My cat is complaining, doesn't like any shut doors. Come on, Douglas. This is Douglas. Douglas the first, we call him. The royal puss. He'll want to go back out in about three seconds. He just wanted to come through the door, probably. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring that left foot forward. And then you're going to look to that right shin and just make sure that right shin is parallel to the back of your mat. From here we raise the arms up, the cat bomb, I knew it was going to happen at some point. Inhale, raise the arms up, pull the belly in nice and tight. And from here you're going to press the hips forward. Super nice, belly pulling up. Nice couple of breaths there. And then you're just going to bring that front foot a little bit further forward. Hands come down. Now you can use your blocks here as a little bit of support. I quite like to do that. Just allows the chest to stay a little bit more lifted. And then from here, allowing those hips to come forward. And you can just soften over that front leg. Nice deep breaths there. If you can't feel anything through the legs here and you're super flexible, you just press that right shin down into the floor and it will really awaken um, the stretch through the front of that right leg. For those of you maybe tighter in your hamstrings, you might not feel it so much here, but you might feel it more on the underside of that left leg and that's fine too. Some of you might feel both and that is exciting. From here, one more breath. And then you're going to take the hips back to allow you to maneuver this foot and you're going to take that right foot, sorry left foot, over to the right side and place the shin down. 
Now, ideally, you're eventually aiming for this left shin to be parallel to the front of your mat. But for most people, it'll be about 45 degrees. From here, slide that right leg back, relax that right foot down. And from here, you want to roll this back hip over and down towards the floor. And then slowly come down onto your elbows. Quite nice here, you can stack the fists up and just relax your head down. Or you can use your block. And just take some nice deep breaths. often hold a lot of emotion in our hips so it's really nice just to stretch and breathe in to any tension that we feel there. One more breath there. yoga it's like cat yoga today so one more breath there and then from here we can enjoy a nice back stretch so we bring the hands in and then we lift the chest and look forward if it feels too much we can take the hands further forward just to reduce the stretch for some people this might be enough and just easing it back Keep pressing that right hip down into the floor. One more breath there. And then from there, press the hands down, tuck the back toe, and lift up into downward facing dog. So from here, first downward dog, it's like a unheard of. Normally I've done about 75 by this point in the practice, so it's nice just to pop one little one in here. And then from here, slowly dropping the knees down to the floor and bring that right foot forward. Coming up, making sure that front knee is on top of the front ankle. From here, we can take the arch out of the lower back by scooping the pelvis under. Gentle press forward with the hips. Inhale, raise the arms up. Deep breaths there. And this pose is nice because it requires a little bit of balance. It keeps your mind focused on the yoga, on what you're doing, and stops it from wandering to other things. So one more breath there. And then from there, again, we can bring the hands down. Maybe that front foot comes a little bit further forward. Deep breath in, relax the back foot, and sink the hips forward. And then from here, we can just relax over that front thigh maybe gently pressing that left shin down into the floor and then inhale bringing those hips back Slide the right foot back and take it over to the left side of the mat. Pop the shin down and the knee. And the knee should be facing about 45 degrees diagonally away from you. Slide that left leg back. Relax the back foot. And slowly come down onto your elbows. Nice deep breaths there. Maybe one hip feels a bit tighter than the other. And maybe you can relax your head down. Or if you're flexible, you can pop your hands away and relax your forehead. And 
and slowly coming up for a nice back stretch. Yes, coming slowly back, keeping the belly fully in. Keeping those collarbones smiling. From here, you're going to roll onto that right butt cheek, bring that left leg around, and then bring the soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. So from here, we open the feet like we're opening a book, <laughs> like this. I don't know who opens a book like this, but kind of the idea that the sole of the feet are starting to face up towards the ceiling. From here, we inhale, lift the chest, and then keep that chest lifted, and with a flat back if we can, we gently press the elbows into the inner thighs, just for a nice stretch there. The gaze can go just in front of you, maybe about a foot or so. And just some nice deep breaths there. One more, more breath there. And then from there, inhale, coming out, coming out of that. And then from here, we're just going to bring the bottom a little bit further back, feet a little bit more away, and we come to Sukta Bhattanasana. You can hold on to the thighs as you slowly come down. And then from here, we just let the knees drift outwards. And on this further part, to bring the hands to the belly, and you can just breathe into the hands. A lot of anxiety resides in the lower abdomen. So see if you can pop your hands there and just breathe into that space that's getting any energy moving. And as we release it downwards into the ground so that at the end of the practice you feel lighter and more balanced than you did before. Down, nice deep breath there. And then slowly lift the head, bring the knees together, and then bring the knees into the chest and take a gentle rock side to side. Now here, feel free to pause the video and take Shavasana for as long as you like. you can bend the legs, slowly come onto your side and then make your way back to seated and back to where we started. Well done. Inhale, raise the arms up and you can put a smile on your pretty little face. Very nice indeed. Namaste.